Okay guys, as you can see by the title of the video, not clickbait. I just literally tried to get online and I'll show you guys. Look, so I open up the app, right? Open up the app and it just goes, your account has been deactivated. Now we've been with DoorDash since the beginning of 2019, like the last week of 2018. So going on almost five years, right? Got over 21,000 deliveries, uh, you know, in the bag, under the belt, whatever you want to call it, right? Now it says here, why your account was deactivated. We reviewed the suspicious or unusual activity and found that it violated our deactivation policy. Very vague, right? Now, after I, after opening up the app and being like, what the heck is going on? I went to my emails, nothing. No spam, nothing in the, you know, what, nothing to spam, nothing at all, which is kind of weird, right? Because everyone says, oh, check your email. They got to tell you why they deactivated you. Apparently not, apparently not. And it goes, what happens next? Your account's being deactivated. You can no longer access any part of the of your Dasher account. So I can't even look at my ratings, my you know, my earnings from before, any of that stuff. I can't even as soon as I open up the app, this is all I see, right? Now this is the key part right here. Um, your current balance will not be paid out as outlined per the independent contractor agreement, whatever. More of a reason to never have any type of balance on the Dasher app. Now, I do have Dasher Direct. The last time I dashed was Sunday, right? So I think I made like 40, 50 bucks, whatever it was. Um, didn't dash yesterday. Now, I was able to open my, da my uh, Dasher Direct account, that opened fine, but just to be safe, I cashed out my rewards. I had like 15 bucks in rewards. And then whatever was there, I transferred it out because, you know, what if later on I can't even get to it. But from what I've seen on Facebook and Reddit, you know, even if even if you get deactivated mid dash, your your funds should hit the Dasher Direct. The only problem is if you don't have Dasher Direct, then it would just sit. I guess what happened to Uber um, uh, Phoenix, if I'm not mistaken, um, which is insane, right? They can just hold your money and be like, "Hey, you you're being shady. We're not really gonna tell you why," which is kind of shady for them to do, you know. So, anyways, then it says, you know, request a review. Of your deactivated account right if you believe your accounts was incorrectly deactivated which i do which i do you can provide details and relevant information for us to review now, that's kind of weird what am i supposed to provide if you're not telling me what i did wrong right so now i already sent the appeal you know just to get the ball rolling now once you do that it takes you to this very big like google form type website it asks you to choose i'm gonna show it to you guys it asks you to choose your language of course english I'm surprised it even offer French, German, and Japanese. It seems so, seems so random, but anyways, then you submit it. Now, what I think is very interesting is it takes you to a next, the next step, right? You gotta put in the email that you dash with and whatnot. And then it goes, please state the cost of your deactivation. And it gives you a bunch of reasons, right? But none of them, none of them are um, basically suspicious activity or unusual activity that's not even a thing it's not even here i mean i looked at some of them that maybe could could be that but i mean there's fraud but that's kind of weird because it says making deliveries as complete when they were never made didn't do that um engaging in fraud other i mean there's no fraud fill out to me back background criteria 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 can't even talk but my background was just ran like last week and everything was good so that's kind of weird right and then my account was under investigation it's a bunch of random ones so I just put, I, I'm not sure, and then next, and then you can literally type in, like, you know, we're getting our buy request here on Empower, and we're definitely gonna take it, for sure. Um, but um, what was I saying? I, I forgot what I was saying. Get back to me, yeah. So basically, it doesn't even give you, like, the reason they're giving me isn't even an option, right? So I basically typed it in there, like, I'm not sure what's going on, we're going to platform for X amount of years and this and that. I got this many deliveries. I don't think any of that matters. I think the fact of the matter, the, the, the real issue is I have no idea why they, they deactivated the account, right? Now, you could say, well, man, that's crazy. How can they do that to you? This and that. Well, I think to them, we're just a number, right? I mean, they don't care how many deliveries you have. They don't care any. They don't care about any of that stuff. They can deactivate you for literally no reason, right? And I've been knowing that. I've been knowing that. Um, now... Part of me is thinking like, wow, that's, if this is my only source of income, like I'd be like, yo, devastated, right? Like kind of low-key, kind of freaking out. But it's not. 
it's not. We have the W2, we got other apps, this and that. If anything, this is kind of, you know, pushing me to go to uh, the uh, Uber headquarters. No, not headquarters, Uber office in DC so we can see what's going on with my Uber account. But in the meantime, we got Grubhub, we got Point Pickup, Roadie, you know, although not the greatest apps we do have Empower, that, that one can definitely, you know, as you can see, we just got a ride request on that. Um, Beho, all kinds of apps. If anything, for me, it's more of a challenge, see if I can still make a thousand bucks a week with other apps, not DoorDash. Now, what, what, what is also interesting is, as soon as I submitted the, uh, the appeal, I got an email saying we've received your appeal, if you have any additional details, please submit them here, this and that. Um, but I never got an email saying you were deactivated, which I think is so weird, right? Now, what's also interesting is they don't give you a time frame. It doesn't say, hey, it's gonna take us five business days, couple business, it doesn't say any of that stuff. Very vague, right? So now all we can do is wait, right? Now, I tried calling um, before I made the video and the support agent was more or less like, oh, you know, everything looks fine here on our end. So maybe the, the activation is so fresh, it doesn't show up on their system. I don't know. Because this, it did, uh, the little pop ups up top, it said, like, oh, your schedule, your schedule dash is about to start in 15 minutes. And, you know, all that stuff is still coming through, which is interesting, but I just can't get past this. Oh, your, your uh, app has been deactivated, you know? So I don't know. I mean, the last time that I went out was on Saturday. You guys saw that video, the Party City video. Didn't have any bad interactions with anyone. Nothing happened. Sunday, I did dash a little bit. I did record, but I mean, I really can't even edit the video. I can't even get to my earnings. You know what I mean? So again, it was a short dash. We only made like 40, 50 bucks. Um, but yeah, weird, right? Weird. So you guys let me know your thoughts. Do you know anyone has been deactivated? What do you guys think I should do? Um, but again, I'm in good spirits. I, I know that I didn't do anything wrong, let alone shady. Almost all my dashes are literally online on YouTube for anyone to see. Um, so maybe I'll maybe you know, reply that, be like, hey, additional details. Check out my channel, like and subscribe. Um, you know, all my dashes are there. Nothing shady uh, or unusual about my dashing activity. So I don't know, I don't know. Again, I never thought that that would happen. But I, in, in the, at the same time, it's also a real thing, right? It can happen. Clearly, it just happened to me, right? And I think the crazy part is, like, if I did something shady or if I confronted a no-tipper or if I, you know, was being rude to someone or something actually happened that I could be like, you know what? It was that. But I have nothing. Literally blank. Nothing. And, again, very vague with the whole unusual or suspicious activity. I don't know. I mean, I did see on Facebook that I'm not the only one. I saw at least another person on Facebook that, that it happened to them. You know, so all we can do is, you know, wait. I'm going to, of course, record the whole process. Hopefully, you know, the outcome is positive and it doesn't take forever to review the account. But if they do, you know, again, I'll take it on as a challenge. And like I said, we're in good spirits. We're going to make the best of it. So, you know, remember to like and subscribe. Um, the plan is, you know, to keep on working like normal. Of course, not with DoorDash. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'll be interested to see what you guys think. I mean, if you're new to the channel, you might not know me, but if you're not new to the channel, you guys know that I don't do anything shady or unusual. I'm never rude. You know, we got over, or we had over 21,000 deliveries in the bag, high completion rating, high customer rating. Um, my only one that was relatively low was the AR, but according to them, that's not something they can deactivate you for. So what's going on? I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's, gonna, that's all I got for right now. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted and we'll see you real soon. Peace.